Hi ST fans, welcome back to the channel. Covid travel restrictions are starting to be relaxed, with more and more destinations coming back online. And we're all longing to jump on an aeroplane and jet off to some tropical warm water diving hotspot. So to whet your appetite even more, or maybe give you some inspiration for a must dive trip, I'm going to be giving you a whistle stop tour of Cocos Island, showcasing some of the fantastic marine life and amazing topside views that characterise this iconic destination. Cocos Island. For adventurous divers, this legendary destination is right up there with the likes of the Galapagos Islands and Malpelo. It's located some 342 miles off the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, and it takes a solid 36 hour voyage just to arrive at this lush, uninhabited island, which looks like something out of Jurassic Park when it looms into view. In fact, it's often credited with being the inspiration for Isla Nublar anyway. Cocos Island was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1997, and weather permitting, visitors are shuttled ashore from their liverboards to hike through the thick jungle interior and swim in the pools at the base of the many waterfalls. However, the dramatic topside scenery is nothing compared with what lies beneath the surface. Underwater, rocky pinnacles surround the island, and these are a magnet for big animals, including vast shoals of hammerhead sharks, countless white tip sharks, tuna, manta rays, and even whale sharks. Dive sites such as Manuelita, Dirty Rock, Alcyone, and Big Dos Amigos are just some of the hotspots spoken of in hallowed terms by experienced divers. Alcyone is a 180 metre long submerged mountain which reaches up to a depth of 23 metres and it's often surrounded by mind-blowing shoals of hammerheads which can seem to be never ending. Dirty Rock is a large island poking out of the water off the north coast of Cocos and it's also a popular hangout for hammerhead sharks as well as huge marble rays. Manuelita is another island off the north coast of Cocos and its northeast corner is the place to be. This sheer wall is home to lots of white tip sharks, more marble rays, and enormous shows of Creole rat. Big Dos Amigos, yes, there is a small Dos Amigos too, is a tiny islet off the west coast of Cocos that features a 13 meter high arch and an 18 meter pinnacle off the southeast side. You get hammerhead sharks swimming between the arch and the pinnacle, and you'll be enveloped by gigantic shows of rainbow runners, yellowtail snapper, and big eyed jacks. If you needed any more persuading that this is one location that should be on your bucket list, the one and only Jacques Cousteau visited the island several times and in 1994 called it the most beautiful island in the world. We have teamed up with Aggressor Liverboards for this series of short video tours around some of the world's best diving destinations. And they've got two vessels in country, the Okeanos Aggressor 1 and the Okeanos Aggressor 2 which offer 10 day charters from Punta Arenas in Costa Rica, taking in some of the best dive sites around Cocos. You can expect to rack up 21 dives. All 10 day trips offer seven days of diving. The Okeanos Aggressor 1 is 33 meters long and has 10 staterooms for its 22 passengers, while the Okeanos Aggressor 2 is 36 meters long with 11 staterooms for its 22 passengers. Both have large salons, spacious sun decks, a bar and a grill. There's so much more to Cocos than we've shown you here, but it gives you a taster for this fantastic diving destination. Have you dived Cocos Island? What were some of your most memorable moments? Leave your comments below, and if you've got a question, fire away. If we can't answer it, maybe someone in our ever-growing community will be able to. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our playlist for more informative, educational, and inspirational videos. As always, stay safe, and if you're going diving, enjoy. <laughs>